Bello has decried the noisy silence of authorities following recent attacks, kidnappings and destruction of properties in the area. If nothing is done, the mayor fears many people will die and the Bello community in the northwest region of Cameroon will crumble. Details with Lovette. Bello in Boyo Division, that includes killing, looting and Adoption has been the preoccupation of most newspaper stands and the people of the Northwest region. The mayor of Belo, Dr. Sam Bernard, now paints a picture of Belo. Uh, it's a sad situation that uh, Belo is deserted, particularly the center. You will not find a single soul in Belo because uh, Mbazunian forces, they call them, are settled in one of the villages in Belo and uh, government troops came to uh, try to rescue a situation and in the course of uh, all that so many innocent people have been killed. According to the mayor, if the situation persists, Belo Council will crumble. At the moment, it's difficult to order even staff to come to the office because everybody is fearing for his dear life. Even before then, uh, be, people have been preached not to pay taxes, so if it continues like this, the council will be in a lot of difficulties. The mayor equally confirms the information about some councillors being kidnapped immediately after the senatorial elections, but were released after a ransom was paid. People were preaching against election. We tried to explain that no. An election was not only SDF running. There were four parties in Boyo. If you come and you are targeting only SDF to boycott, and they stay away and the other people will pick it. But after elections, they kidnapped a number of councillors. All those who were kidnapped paid ransom and were released. Mayor Tosan Bernard is therefore pleading on the government to do something to save the lives of innocent people in Belo subdivision who have greatly been affected. I think this is a national problem and uh, the earlier there is dialogue, which we have been talking about, the better. We can see a situation where as long as uh, these forces are there, government troops will remain and the more they stay there, the more innocent people are being harassed.